he studied bilingual primary education in University of Lleida. But now we have become Erasmus student in University of Łódź, Poland. For five months we have been exploring and enjoying this city. This is our Meet the Globe. Hope you like it. Our first destination was the rail station called Rajesh Station. This rail station is now a museum in representation of the place where tens of thousands of people were hurried off to the death camp of Chamu Nan Nyerem in the years 1942 and 1944 and then to Aswich in August 1944. Following the historical and cultural places, the next location was the Jewish Cemetery of Woods. As we will get by, we learned about how Jewish saw the afterlife, and in the end, it was one of the most different and fascinating places that we found in Łódź. Then we went to the Manufactura Mall Center, where we could see a lot of people spending their free time, shopping and doing their leisure activities. Afterwards, we visited the Limewood Festival. This festival offers us a unique chance to discover how light can enrich the image of the buildings and streets of the city and shows up that this city is constantly increasing regarding in cultural activities. In which there are different museums related to arts and we decided to visit them. They are the Film Museum, the Semaphore Animation Museum and the Museum of Arts. They help us understand more the culture and mindset of the city. The main and most well-known street in Woods is Piotrkowska, where you can find several shops, restaurants, bars and so on. We were surprised by the several sculptures and metal stars embedded in the sidewalks that we found through this street. Luckily, one of the Erasmus public relations from the university had a lot of knowledge about the history of Wuj, and we could interview him in order to satisfy our thirst for knowledge in this field. Piotrkowska Street, there is a teddy bear yeah. one year. It's a hero of the film Mish Ushatek, so teddy, teddy bear with the ear, it's called. Uh, and, and it was made in wood. Bench of Julian Tuvi. Julian Tuvi was a genius Polish poet, Jewish origin, who was born in Łódź. On the book there is a title, Fiaty Polskie, Polish Flowers. It's the most famous uh, poem of Julian Tuvim, which he wrote. The second monument it was piano of Arthur Rubinstein, a genius piano player, uh, also born in Łódź, but he was a citizen of the world, really. He was very, very, very famous. He got Oscar Award and Emmy and Grammy and everything what is possible. The guy sitting with the paper, uh, it's Stefan Jarcz, he was a very famous uh, theatre director, so it's something like a rehearsal for theatre spectator. And uh, there is a monument of uh, Władysław Raymond, it's a coffer, it's a, on the right side, the guy sitting on the coffer, he was a writer, he got Nobel Prize in 1924. Uh, he wasn't born in Łódź, but he lived in Łódź uh, during some time, and he wrote a book which, which is titled Ziemia Obiecana, in English it's The Promised Land. After doing the interview, we saw a connection between the sculptures and cinematography. For that reason, we agreed to visit the Łódź Film School. The idea to, to create school was in 1938. And a group of individual and uh, artists, avant-garde artists, uh, who were really fascinated with uh, Russian avant-garde, they wanted to create a, a film school. They wanted to start to teach and, and learn uh, the, the art of, of cinematography. But of course, the war broke. The war started, and it was not possible to. Um, it was not possible to, to continue the idea. Uh, so during the war, they, they, they managed to 
work a bit as a documentalist during the war. They survived and after the war they wanted to, to continue the idea. But Warsaw after the war was really devastated. It was, was a, it was a ramshackle. It was um, so destroyed that it was not possible. So the closest city was Łódź. Uh, it was a communism in, in Łódź, in, in Łódź, in Poland generally. But uh, that was the only place when all the artists could come and they could meet. So not only directors, cinematographers, well, but also writers, musicians. They were coming here and they, were, they, they had like the small green land here and discussing the ideas, exchanging, um, inspiring each, uh, themselves. I think um, that since we have this Polish Film Institute, a lot has changed because more and more movies um, are being created. So more and more movies have possibility to, um, to also to be shown abroad. Of course, the super great uh, success was uh, Ida, Ida, <laughs> when it got an Oscar. But I think that we still have some directors well recognized around the world. We have Shumoska, for example, she's really working internationally. But uh, as I'm traveling quite a lot on um, festivals, there is a lot of Polish movies on the festivals, and they really got. A word, so I think it's it's really really great. <laughs> I want to believe that it it has changed, uh, it has influence on what because as we have here students, they come here, they make movies here, and they are part of some um, film industry in which it's not before. In seventies, in eighties, it was huge. Actually, which was the biggest, one of the biggest film industry places in Poland. It all has changed in nineties when the capitalism arrived and uh, uh, everything, almost everything, moved to Warsaw. Yeah. I think we are part of it, and for sure, as also a new, some kind of university, but because of film school, uh, Lodz Film School, it is. Uh, University, but artistic university. Uh, so we are also, I guess, uh, attractive, attractive as a, as also a city because of the film school. So mm -hmm. Many names you can see from the stars are of course connected with the Lodz Film School because, or they graduate film school, or they are professors of the film school, or they they are um, working in a film industry based in in, in Łódź or were somehow cooperating with, with film schools. So there is a many, many connections. Now that we know about the repercussion of cinematography in Łódź throughout the history, we wanted to know what were the thoughts of the youth of this city. For that reason, we designed a brief survey. The first result shows that 53.3% like Polish films but do not watch them very often. The second result reflects that 60% of the participants agreed that the industry of Uch has been influential for the growth of the city in some way. In the third and fourth questions, most of the participants could only name between one and two names of Polish famous people who work in the cinematography and sculptures in Piotrkowska. This concludes that even being surrounded of this knowledge, they don't feel attracted to it. Regarding the last question, even though they have the chance to see the films in its original language, the 46.7% prefer them devil in the language. Finally, after having explored about cinematography, we decide to look further and discover both how can be done a projection and which elements are needed. For that reason, we agreed to make ourselves a handmade projector in order to see how it can work. During the construction, we dealt with some inconveniences regarding to the process of light. The light rays trajectory can be controlled through different devices like mirrors and glasses. In our case, the projector needs two magnifying lenses for redirecting the light into the center of the projected image, so that it's more clear and defined. One thing that happened to us was that when we projected the image on the wall, it was inverted. 
After having investigated, we noticed that the propagation of light rays is rectilinear, what makes that when a ray passes through the lens, wants to follow the same straight direction becoming inverted in the other environment. We painted it black because it absorbs the light so that no reflection interferes with the final image projected. After experimenting with those variables, we come across the final product. The material for doing the projector will be a black box or a black spray to paint it, black tape, two magnifying lens, a cutter and a mobile phone. First, we will separate the magnifying glass from the plastic handle. Then, with a pencil we draw the shape of the magnifying glass and we will cut it with a cutter as done in the video. Finally, we will insert the two magnifying lens and will secure it with the tape, so no light escapes from the hole. Make sure that they are clean because it could affect the final image. As a matter of choice, a small support for the mobile phone could be pulled. After all the process, we, as a teacher, could observe that we can make different experiments in order to learn how things work, for instance, the projector. Being in Uj during five months has been very useful in order to discover and verify the importance of cinematography in Uj. We could prove that this branch of art gives Uj a different approach in a cultural way. Even though cinematography is an everyday aspect for Poland citizens, most of them do not pay much attention as we did as foreigners. We have really enjoyed this experience and so we have done with this Meet the Glove project. Goodbye! Goodbye.